All right, all right. All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and glory to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah Ba'ashem, Wahaf Rikakodash. Honors be to the apostles and the elders, great millstone. I'm the brother Yahweh coming at you with another lesson to edify and comfort the Lord's elect. So, Lord willing, that this video is edifying, comfort, and exhorting to you, brothers, well as your few sisters that's listening and learning. All right, the year 2024. All right, the hope for your trouble, the hope for your fear. And we pray and hope that all these prophecies come to pass in the time that we're living in. All right, especially in these times. And I want to do a quick lesson on what you see on the screen from worldstar.com. From this guy, Dr. Greer, which reads, UFO expert Dr. Greer says that we'll soon be, soon be a false flag alien invasion. All right. And I'm going to play this video and let you get a uh, glimpse of what he's saying and we'll dissect the video with some prophecy all right what what is the most dangerous information that you know oh boy they're going to hoax an alien threat and it's all a lie so we are actually in the last year at the point where they've started on that plan. We have got to end. He's saying they're going to hoax an alien invasion and it's all a lie. Okay. Accept this plan and stop it. Or if you think 9-11 and the Iraq war was a clusterfuck, this is going to be that a thousand times worse that there's a group of people who. Well, I got news for you, Dr. Greer. Uh, uh, So-called alien invasion, what you call. All right, so-called alien invasion is going to come to America, okay? And the so-called uh, aliens, who you call aliens, all right, are the angels, okay? Who the world ignorantly call UFOs, which are chairs of the Heavenly Father, all right? And they're going to invade America along with the ultimate fathership, okay? Yahweh Shah. So, hey, you goddamn devils, man, you better prepare. And there's no way you can't prepare. All right? But, hey, this, this, hey, Esau's trying to take as many as he can down with him, man. Speaking deceitfulness. In fact, a 144 called Lord, this is uh, Psalms 10 and verse 7. His mouth is full of cursing and deceitful and fraud. And under his tongue is mischief and vanity. That's what the so-called white man is all about. All right? Deceitful fraud. Okay? It says, Psalm 36 and 3, the mouth, the words of his mouth are iniquity and deceit. He have left off to be wise and to do good. That's right. This is Psalms 50 and 19. Thou givest thy mouth to evil and thy tongue frame deceit. And that's what the so-called white man is all about. That are trying to provoke an interplanetary incident. So we'll, the next war, World War III, will be interplanetary. And there, if there is a serious group of nut jobs, and they have to be put on a leash and stood down fast and quickly. This group started releasing stuff to the CNN and Washington Post and New York Times. The, every bit of information they're putting out has to spin. It's a threat to the national security. Our sovereignty has been invaded. It's the kind of brainwashing that's already started to try to convince the public there as is an alien threat. In you know, the future, what we're going to do and have on this planet is hanging in the balance, and we're going to have to wake up. national security but hey according to the holy scriptures these um who the world ignorant call UFOs they are gonna be a threat all right because they're gonna play a part in destroying you devils let me grab this yep this is uh Zechariah 5 and verse 1 then I turned and lifted up my eyes and behold and looked and behold a flying robe. And he said unto me, What seest thou? And I answered, I see a flying robe, and the length thereof are twenty cubits, and the breadth thereof are ten cubits. 
And then he said unto me, this is the curse that go forth over the face of the whole earth, which is talking about the chariots, man. All right. Who the word ignorant call you foes, aliens. Over the whole earth for everyone that stilleth shall be cut off as on this side according to it. And everyone that swear shall be cut off on the side, on that side according to it. And I will bring it forth, said the Lord Yahweh of hosts, and it shall enter into the house of the thief. We're talking about America, man. And you clearly see these chairs are making themselves known day by day, more more so than ever. That Esau have to unleash this uh these um these videos out to the public. Cause that chairs are making themselves known, man. And it shall enter into the house of the thief, into the house of him that I swear falsely by my name, America. And it shall remain in the midst of his house and shall consume it with the timber thereof and the stones thereof, you see. So these angels are sent to consume this place. And it ultimately is going to happen, man. When Yahweh shall come, all right, with the whole band of angels matter of fact let's grab that let me see it's locky yep this is uh matthew 25 and verse 31 when the Son of Man shall come in his glory and the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. You see that? And that's what the Lord is coming. He's coming with the whole host of angels, the holy angels. And every eye is going to see him. It means the angels are going to flood the sky. So whether it be, you know, Esau promoted like it's going to be a, a a hoax, you know, a false flag. Man, this is going to be real, man. This is real. This is the real deal. This is Revelation 1 and verse 7. Behold, he come with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him. Even so, amen. So what the hell is this? You know? What is the most dangerous information that you know? Oh boy. They're going to hoax an alien threat and it's all a lie. It's all a lie. Okay. Well, we're going to see. All right. We're going to see, man. Ultimately, us believers, we know that uh, uh, invasion is going to happen. A so called alien invasion is going to happen here in America. To destroy the wicked with concentrated fire from the chairs and also delivering a remnant, the elect, out of Babylon the Great. All right? So, hey, man, it's a uh, high time to wake out of sleep. And Esau is moving with his false flags and, you know, his deceitfulness. And the scripture speaks about never trusting our enemy. Like iron rust the soul of his wickedness. So you can't believe a damn thing these devils says. Like I said, Esau's trying to take a lot of you Israelites down with him to cause you not to believe, all right, that this thing is going to happen, all right? And so with that, I'm going to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Yahweh Rekakwadash, honors be to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, keep scribing, brothers, keep pushing, we're almost out of here, Shalom, and the Bible ball.